So the most common food allergies depends on how old you are. So in adults, the most common allergies are fruits, shellfish and fish and nuts. Whereas in teenagers, you often have uh, similar types of allergies, but they may also have residual food allergies from when they were younger, such as milk and egg. In younger children, such as infants, the most common food allergies are milk and egg allergy, followed by peanut allergy. So allergy tests can be done with skin prick tests or with blood tests. The benefit of skin prick testing is that we have a range of skin prick test solutions in clinic for the most common allergens. But if a family or uh, an adult uh, patient want to look specifically for a rarer food allergy, such as chia seed allergy, they can bring chia seeds themselves to the appointment. And we can do what's called modified skin prick testing, where we actually take the real food and we use the skin prick testing technique using that particular food. So I would say on the basis of that, that uh, food allergies can certainly be detected to all foods. Now, if a composite food, for example, if an individual had a takeaway and they ate a, a food which was a composite, then it's really important that the family know what was in that composite food to list out the different ingredients and then be able to test for those. With blood testing, there are some limitations on what blood tests are available for the specific allergy antibody IgE to that particular food. But there are now uh, much more food allergy testing uh, blood tests than there were before. And in particular, we're now able to delve deeper into the food by having blood tests for specific proteins within that food that the individual is allergic to. Allergy tests are quite accurate for immediate food allergy. So what we call IgE mediated food allergy because the individual who has immediate food allergy leading to hives, swelling, potentially anaphylaxis will have the allergy antibody called IgE directed against those foods and there's now a wealth of research that's gone into this type of food allergy. And so the tests are uh, pretty accurate. No test is 100% accurate. The gold standard for testing for food allergy, once a uh, proper history has been taken and some allergy tests have been performed, is the oral food challenge. In that situation, we would bring the child into hospital, give the child some a food that the family have concerns as to whether the child is allergic or not. They would then eat that food under close monitoring and be observed thereafter to make sure they don't have any symptoms of allergy. And then if the child has no reaction to that food, they can safely then continue to eat that food at home. I would not recommend that skin prick tests are done at home. That is because the skin prick tests carry a small, albeit not insignificant, risk of an allergic reaction. Now, anaphylaxis due to skin prick testing is incredibly rare. The documented statistics for that are one in 100,000 individuals having anaphylaxis to skin prick testing. However, there is a chance of an allergic reaction, so I would not recommend that skin prick tests are done at home. Blood tests, on the other hand, could potentially be done at home. I know that when we uh, were managing our allergy service during COVID, we developed a home allergy testing kit, which was sent out to individuals where they would need to take the blood test themselves and then send it to the lab using a secure uh, packaging to ensure that it was delivered safely. This is something that is possible that can be quite uh, difficult for families to do in terms of taking the blood test from their child themselves. For adults, it may be something that's more feasible. So at the moment, going private for your allergy test would probably mean that you are seen earlier for the diagnosis of your child's food allergy. 
given the long waiting lists in the NHS. And you can also choose which doctor you wish to see. In terms of the actual tests available, I know working in the NHS that there are all the same tests available in the NHS as there are in my private clinic. And therefore, in terms of the range of allergy testing that could be performed, this would be the same in the NHS as in a private clinic.